Changes to the MotoGP practice schedule were confirmed in a major update prior to the session starting. Instead, since lap timings would not be used to determine Q2, practice 2 became FP2. The last practice on Saturday has grown to be crucial since qualifying for Q2 will be determined by lap times. Augusto Fernandez led the way, and finding a rhythm proved difficult with lap speeds more than 15 seconds slower than an FP1. Alongside his namesake, Raul Fernandez achieved a 1-2 finish ahead of Anea Bastianini, Joan Mir, and Jack Miller. That was before the latter accelerated his factory-built KTM vehicle to the second position. Welcome to Bike GP. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for more updates. Pedro Acosta, the star of FP1, was making no effort to quiet the excitement as he pulled three-tenths ahead of teammate Augusto Fernandez. Fernandez and Acosta were at the forefront of the field as their lap times got better. Miller led for a little while, but Fernandez came back with a time of 2 minutes 06.834 seconds. Following a break in riders' progress, Marc Marquez, about three-tenths ahead of Fernandez, demonstrated his actual pace. Marc Marquez continued to be at the top as the rain began to fall again though this time, it was only for a short while. The quartet of KTM riders led by Fernandez trailed Marquez with Bastianini in P7, one position behind Raul Fernandez, being the next best Ducati. Johan Zarco, Alex Marquez, and Fabio Di Gianantonio completed the top 10. Despite his early Honda tendencies, Marc Marquez made an instant impression during his first race weekend as a Grassini Ducati MotoGP rider. During the first practice on Friday at Luceo, the Spaniard recorded the fourth fastest lap time, plus 0.177 seconds. In the second session, he took advantage of a sudden nighttime shower to lead the way in his wet Desmo Sedici debut. Normally, that would have also given the eight-time world champion direct entry into qualifying two on Saturday. However, a MotoGP practice had never before attempted to use the wet circuit under floodlights. It is understood that most riders, when informed by race direction, voted in favor of changing the wet session into a free practice for safety concerns. However, some riders, including Jack Miller and Marquez, are said to have voted against the change. The modification resulted in the relocation of Q2 access to an extended Saturday practice, with qualifying taking place right after. I wanted to have a good day, Marquez stated. Our first goal was to immediately qualify for qualifying two, but due to schedule changes, we had to move practice to Saturday. Anyway, it was really weird to try the Ducati bike in the rain for the first time in Qatar, but it felt good, so I'm happy. Some riders will have to complete three consecutive time attacks, P3, Q1, and Q2, in less than an hour due to the changed Saturday schedule. Today is going to be extremely hectic, Marquez said. Marquez cautioned on Thursday that he is still fighting to suppress his primal Honda impulses, which resurfaced on the first day because of the pressure he is under. I rode like a Honda when I was with other riders when I went out in FP1, he said. After that, I started to slow down and told them to calm down. After that, I began riding like a Ducati in the second run. After then, things became better, but I still have to exercise control tomorrow, which won't be simple. The first goal is to attempt to qualify for qualifying too, but there is a lot of pressure to do well and anything may happen. The feeling was positive in both dry and wet conditions. There are three or four riders who are quicker than us on the dry, but we need to keep working and gradually getting to know the bike. One Pedro Acosta, the star rookie Marquez, has predicted to win races and possibly even fight for the championship this season, was among those who started ahead of Marquez in the dry. Pedro Acosta is an extremely gifted rider, as I mentioned yesterday. As Binder shown last year, the KTM bike is operating well and will watch for the championship as he competes for the wins and podiums. However, he is an extremely gifted rider who will enjoy years of success in the MotoGP. During the dry opening practice, Acosta demonstrated his skill by making a save through turn one in the Marquez style. That one was excellent, I assure you, Marquez uttered. Jorge Martin led the opening practice for the Qatar Grand Prix, setting the stage for a fantastic start to his 2024 MotoGP career. The current runner-up for the title finished just ahead of Alish Espergro, Pedro Acosta, and Marc Marquez in a session where the top 17 all finished within a second of each other. We have a great bond, Martin said. We completed a lot of laps during the tests, so everything is ready, even if it was a nice day. 
I don't think the bike has to be changed all that much. However, due to an unexpected downpour that occurred during the evening practice, the second practice was rescheduled as a free session, moving direct entry into qualifying two to Saturday. Martin, who chose not to take any chances and only finished 18th in the wet, was also experiencing some vision issues due to the contaminated water. I think it was a wise move to postpone direct qualifying to access until Saturday. Trying to proceed under those circumstances would have been too hazardous. It didn't make sense because it wasn't counting, the Pramac Ducati rider added. I basically made an effort to comprehend the circumstances, but I had some difficulty seeing and getting the tires to function. Perhaps it was the helmet or screen. However, we will provide comments and improve our speed the next time. Hopefully it won't rain tomorrow. We aim to be quick tomorrow morning, perform well in qualifying, and win the sprint race. Martin won the sprint race in Qatar in November of last year, narrowly. After missing all of the preseason testing because of a head injury, Franco Morbidelli, Martin's new teammate, finished last in the dry, but just 2.2 seconds ahead of him in the wet. Martin and the current world champion Francesco Bagnaia were picked by Marc Marquez, who went on to win the wet session as the riders to beat for pole position on Saturday. Before the Qatar MotoGP weekend got began, Marco Bezzecchi, Francesco Bagnaia, and Jorge Martin discussed if they thought even slight weight loss could affect performance. Since 2024 will be the closest MotoGP season ever, riders will stop at nothing to obtain even the slightest advantage. Maverick Vinales has shed 4 kg overall from the previous season in an effort to better manage his tires, which the Aprilia occasionally struggled with in 2023. However, the top three riders from the previous season don't think that tiny weight loss will have an impact. Bagnaya took the lead and remarked, On my side, I grew four kilograms. Laughs. I believe I was 64 throughout the season and 68 during the winter, but I am now back at 64. It's the same for me. I'm not sure. To be able to ride at the same level for the entire race, in my opinion, you need to be in the greatest possible shape. Martin continued, I try to be the same for myself. My physique makes it clear that I gain weight quickly and maintain my current weight. I believe that maintaining consistency is crucial. One or two kilograms doesn't seem to make much of a difference. Martin has a more muscular build than Bagnaya, despite the fact that both are formed very differently and have petite frames. Bezeki, who is 25 years old, is 3 kg lighter than Bagnaya, but he still leans somewhat more toward his physique. Bezeki remarked, I will fly away from the bike if I lose kilos. I must maintain my current weight. What are your thoughts? Let us know in the comment down below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for new upcoming videos of MotoGP. Thanks for watching.